This tutorial is a request tutorial from KDG. And KDG asks, how do you autofill content on a contact form 7 form? For example, if you want the subject line to be autofilled whenever the page loads, so the customer or the visitor doesn't have to fill that in, that's what KDG wants to learn. I'm going to show you to do it for the subject lines and for any field you want to in Contact Form 7, how to autofill any of it. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. To autofill fields on Contact Form 7, I'm going to assume you already have the plugin installed, otherwise you wouldn't be looking this up. And you go to the plugin and you find a form that you've already built. I'm just going to build a new one by clicking on Add New. And then with any field that you want to autofill, just click into the short code, add open quotations, double quotes, and closed double quotes, and then add your text in. For example, maybe you want to have the same subject line every time the contact form loads. So maybe it's the text that KDG requested. I want you to contact me. And this would be the subject of the email that you receive in your inbox when someone fills out this form. I didn't actually give this form a title. That's okay. I'm just going to copy the short code of the form here, put it on a new page. I'm just going to call this autofill, publish that, and then view the page with the form. And we now have, I want you to contact me autofilled right there, which the user can delete and they can type in their own subject line if they want to. Another way to add this feature or this element to your forms is whenever you click on one of these buttons, text for example, there's a default value box. And the default value is that text we just saw. So I'm just going to call this default value. Insert that tag and here we see inside the double quotes we have the phrase default value. And you can add this to nearly any type of field. For example, if we add radio buttons, let's just put in the numbers one, two, three, four, as our radio buttons, and click on insert tag, we see there's a default colon one. So by default, the first one's gonna be selected. So if we save this, refresh our form, we see the first one selected by default. If we change that to the third one, and this so happens I numbered mine one, two, three, four, and the default values are gonna be one, two, three, four, but that's not how it'd be if you had text here. So this could be apple, orange, yellow, and blue, but you'd still have the number three to have the third one pre-selected. You wouldn't add the word apple in there. But if we refresh this, I set the default now to three and the number three is checked. Similarly, if we add check boxes, let's call these A, B, C, D, you'll notice there is no default in the checkbox shortcode. So if we save this and then refresh the form again, we see our checkboxes have nothing selected by default. But you can go ahead and just type in default, let's make it number four. Now it's gonna be so that number four or the fourth option is selected every time this form loads. And of course the users can go in and select something else if they want to just depends on how, what the user has as a preference. But if you have a form that's mostly the same for everybody, you could have default values that make filling the form for your visitors a whole lot easier. And that is how you do it in Contact Form 7. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, Click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to so get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.